The best thing in Smash Brothers is getting spikes, not counting Little Max air game. Spikes are typically associated with the down aerial move because most of them have a meter smash hitbox. I usually go for spikes when I have at least a stock and 50% lead. Go for as in spam. My main Rob, Steve was too technical, has a pretty OP spike. My edge guarding strat is usually just spam down air to get that spike because it's gigantic and lasts way too long. And thank goodness Zelda's down air isn't the strongest like her lightning kicks because my gosh it's just a sparkling foot. Anyways, I would talk about the forward aerial spikes, but I didn't want to name this Meteor Smash Crisis because it wouldn't fit with Back Air Crisis, so I turned it into Down Air Crisis. But I do feel like the fair spikes are the best ones to land. Second best are the stomps, like Dr. Mario and Ganon. If you think those hitboxes are a little odd, then look at Melee Captain Falcon. I think all the hitboxes send you downwards, but like I said in the beginning of the video, getting hit with his feet can be cancelled being a Meteor Smash, while his chest will just kill you. Not all downers have a spike hitbox though, like Fox, a lot of them being corkscrews. Those are used for combos, and while it does have a meteor smash, I would consider Luigi's to be more of a combo one, especially for his throws. Little thing, yesterday my friend Andre and I were playing random in an arena, and we both got robbed. That wouldn't be so crazy, but we both main him, so can someone find the odds of that please? I personally think the best downers are Rob's, Ivysaur's, the super fast kicks, and like I said, Little Max. These all have great utility in some weird hitboxes. There's also stalled and falls, ones that force you downwards. Think of Bowser and Omni-Man. I suck at getting spikes with those, which I think is because your momentum completely stops when you start the move, and getting a spike kill means that you'll die too unless your fighter can cancel it. I do find it funny how the characters just keep going downwards even if their path is into the blast zone.